When you throw in your jab and cross, it's really important that you're not readable. And the reason for this, if you were having a fight, your opponent will see a punch coming if you give small signs away. But you'd also could leave yourself quite open during the process of, of showing the fact that you're going to throw that punch. We're just going to go through jabs and crosses. For example, once you're in your stance position, I'll just talk about the jab first. So remember on the jab, you're keeping your elbow nice and tight and you're just rotating your knuckles through just at that last five degree, just before you land on that target. Okay, so you, this is the correct way to throw your jab. Your balance is through the middle, your elbow's going back in between each one and you rotate your knuckles. So you're landing here. Okay? We're trying not to land short. You're landing quite long because then you're going to really utilize the shoulder and the back power. Now, if you drop your hand before you jab, you're giving the game away that you're about to jab. One, it's going to make you a little bit open. Two, you're going, hey, I'm going to punch you with this jab. And three, going from A to B, A to B, which is your opponent's head, in a straight line is the quickest way to get to B. If you drop it and then throw it, it adds a little bit of time onto that. Now, if you think about timing and accuracy in boxing, is so important. So what you need to be doing is getting it from A to B, straight from your face, straight back to your face, not dropping first and then jabbing. So it's really important that you practice that in the mirror and you really make sure you don't drop that hand. Also, a lot of things I find that people do is when they're jabbing, they're dropping their right hand down, which means you're open. If you're doing that, you're easily readable. Someone's just going to catch you there where you're open because they're going to, every time they throw a jab, they drop their, their right hand or their cross. So if you're doing it in the other, the other stance, it would be vice versa. But we're just talking about orthodox stance at this moment in time. But just switch it around if you are a southpaw. So make sure that the jab goes from A to B. You're not dropping first and you're not dropping that right hand as you're jabbing. Okay? The other thing which is really important is not to bring your elbow out first. So firstly, it gives the game away that you're about to throw the jab because you brought your elbow out. It's not going from A to B in a straight line, so it's not the quickest way to your, your target where you're trying to punch, because you're bringing that out and then you're punching. But also, if you're bringing your elbow out and punching, you're coming from a little bit more of an angle with that jab. Thinking about going through someone's guard, if you're trying to punch them through that guard, you want to be going through the center. If you're coming out there, you're not going down the center. So it makes it harder for you to be accurate on that target and go through the middle of someone's guard but also it's keeping you protected at the same time. Here you're open, here you're not. If you watch, I'm not bringing my elbow out, now I'm bringing my elbow out. It slows it down a bit and you're losing power. Now, optimally, you want to really sort of work on that power through your punches because if you're going to hit someone, you may as well hurt them, right? Moving on to the cross, it's the same thing. Do not drop that hand before you cross. You want to be coming through. And I'll do it from the side as well. So you can see I'm really rotating through on that. I'm not leaning on that front foot through on that cross. I'm keeping the balance through the middle. So this is where the power is coming from. I'm not trying to arm punch with that cross. I'm bringing it in and then I'm turning through. So your, your hand is in the same position. You're taking from the elbow in to turn in the knuckle through in a straight line. I'm turning my hip for power. I'm not arm punching. You might be really strong at the top, but actually you want to optimize that energy by using that hip for the power. I'm not dropping the right hand. As I'm throwing it, I'm going to go straight from the face. I'm not dropping my jab because then I'll be open. And I'm not bringing the elbow out. A lot of people bring the elbow up because they think it's going to give them more power. Or they'll be wrong. You want to keep nice and strong for boxing. You want to get your elbows nice and tucked in. And you want to punch through the center. Not bringing it out because then you come into the side of someone's gloves as opposed to through the middle. Which is where the target is for the jab and the cross. It's here. Okay? So don't bring that elbow out. Don't give the game away that you're about to punch. Tight, tight. When you're punching, make sure the other guard is nice and tight to your face. So if you're showing the cross, your jab's nice and tight here. And if you're showing the jab, your cross hand is nice and tight to your face. So I just wanted to go away 
with something here about not giving a game away that you're about to punch. Everything's nice and tight. Make yourself really hard to read on the jab and the cross.